Hi, Rafael. How are you? Hello, no, teacher. I'm fine. What about you? I'm good. Thank you. How was your day? Not bad. It, it's okay. What do you do, Rafael? Well, I uh, today I take care of my, my baby and and I'm at home doing anything. Do you work? Uh, no, my my work is in, in my home, my house. Oh, you work in your house. Okay. Yeah. What What do you do? Well, sometimes I I give I give. Um, Accessoria. Mm -hmm. Like 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 bicycle. Yes. Um, about about um, uh, the people ask me for for um, legal situation. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, okay. Are you a lawyer? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. <clears throat> Boris, how are you? How was your day today? <clears throat> good teacher. <clears throat> this day was uh, my day off. So yeah. I... Uh, well, I... Uh, woke up uh, late, <laughs> I um, go out with the dog to walk, to walk with the dog uh, in the park. Okay. Um, after I here with the house card, um, in the evening I go with my wife to visit the doctor because uh, She's a, a little sick. Oh, okay. And right now, while I was uh, waiting for the class. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, good. So today is your day off. Yeah, today is day off for me. How many days off do you have? One or two? Always one uh, in a week. Sometimes when I work, uh, when I work uh, on weekend, I had a day off in a week. Okay. Okay, good. What's up, Dennis? How are you? You are in mute. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't realize that I was on mute. That's okay. No, yeah, I, I was telling you that I just took a shower a few minutes ago before to start the class because mm -hmm. it's very hot right now. So, and it seems that it's not gonna rain today. So hopefully later on it get cold. I don't think it's going to rain the rest of the year. <laughs> it never yeah, rains. That that's where actually myself i don't like uh winter and i was telling my wife a couple of months ago hopefully it's not gonna rain this year because i don't like winter being honest but when it's not raining when it's winter and that's that's something that i that i think i'm not sure uh, but when it's winter and it's it's not raining, it's hotter than summer. Yes, I, I think. Do you think so? Yeah. Yes. I don't know why it's it's always like right? that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think the same. But well, now that we are in winter, I think that I want uh, the water raining. 
I know because it's very hot. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, so let me pull up what we did yesterday. Hold on, let me check. And Claudia, hi. Wow, Claudia, you're not walking today. Yeah, I'm a little retired because in the morning I do exercise. I did exercise. Yeah, I did exercise. Thank you. Do you know the difference between make and do? Mm. Uh, one is that something is uh, done or something like that. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the difference, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay, but you're you're close. Does somebody know the difference between make and do? I don't. Okay, Boris, <clears throat> Rafael, do you know? The difference? Yes, I think that may is for when something you create, uh, like a bread. Or when you create something, I think that you can use make and do is an auxiliary. Yeah, I mean, you're 50% right. Yes, make is when you create, when you compose something. For example, a sandwich. A sandwich doesn't exist. You have to make it. You need bread. You need tomato. You need ham. When you put those ingredients together, then you made a sandwich. Okay. For example, the drink, coffee, doesn't exist. You have to make it. You need hot water. You need coffee. You need sugar. Okay? Okay. And do, do already exist. Do as an activity. Okay. For, for example, Claudia did exercise. Exercise is an activity. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know, and actually, uh, I've been when I when I try when when I make I make a sentence, mm -hmm. and after I have made the sentence or I have say that phrase, sometimes I I I start thinking if I did it correct because I didn't know that rule. So, in general, is when do is with, with something that is not physical. Well, so do, make it for something that I can touch. Yeah, I mean, do is an activity. An activity is physical, like exercise. Okay. But make is when you, that doesn't exist. You have to compose. You need components. Okay. For example, right. a sandwich. If you, you can't do a sandwich. You make a sandwich because you need the components. You, you need bread. You need ham, mayonnaise, okay. mustard. Okay, great. I love I love mustard on a sandwich. Mustard? <laughs> well, I love I like I like mustard. Many people don't like mustard. For example, in a hot dog, I like mustard. I don't like ketchup. And I I love um, mayonnaise. I oh, mayonnaise. me too. Me too. Have you tasted the one that fries Marcel? Yes. The you know my, member my, selection, right? Yes, it's very, very good. I, I love I love Hellman's Hellman's, but in the bottle, not in a bag. McCormick, I don't like. I like Hellman's or um or like even the um it's good Walmart mm -hmm. New Value, I think it is. It's the flavor, the flavor is different. I like it. What is the best for you, Hellman's? Yes. Because it has flavor. It has flavor. Um, McCormick, I don't like. McCormick is scary because when you look at McCormick, it's extremely white. And I said, oh, my God, how, my, how many components and chemicals do they put on this? 
And mustard, mustard, I, I, I think any mustard is good. What is one food you, that you don't like? Soap. I don't like soap, but, you know, like mora, um, chipilin or stuff like that. Um, really? You don't like that? No, I don't. Oh, Actually, it's a rosa guado, pata, like I think. Uh -huh. No, I don't like that. Wow. I don't like that. You, soups are my favorite food. Hmm. Any I soup. I, I love soups. Oh, man. Interesting. Interesting. What about you, Claudia? What is something you don't like? Green pepper. I don't like green pepper. Oh, you don't like green peppers? Yeah, green pepper. You don't like? No, I don't like that. Oh, okay. What about you, Suma? What is some food that you don't like? I don't like uh, sushi because really? it's sushi. Mm -hmm. Because it's uh, raw food. Por ser crudo, no sé cómo se It's raw food. Uh, raw food. Uh -huh. Eso me da asco. But not all sushi. I mean, remember, there's shrimp. There's... Um... <laughs> I tasted one time the Wanako sushi in Super Selectos. It was good. Okay, Allison. Allison is driving. Don't text. I'm an, I'm in an awful uh, traffic. You're still in traffic at eight at night? Yes. Like from one hour ago. Are you serious? Why? Why is there so much traffic? Was there an accident? Uh, I don't know. I decided to take a Constitution Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And it's full. Wait a minute. Why are you in Constitution Boulevard? I thought you live in um, no, no I Congo. Live in San Juan Pico. In San Juan Pico, yes. Why are you in Boulevard Constitution? Yeah, because uh, after the Redondel integration. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Uh, I can think, uh, the uh, is that driveway? Mm -hmm. To 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 render cloudiers. Mm -hmm. And but I live uh, before I get around the cloud dealers. Yeah. Okay, I see. Wow. Wow, okay. Be careful. Or stop in a gas station and drink a coffee. That's what I do when there's a lot of traffic. I just I can't. there is no <laughs> I guess station here. Hey, listen, have you ever have you, class? Have you ever eaten breakfast in Puma? Man, they're good. They're, I don't. They're very good. The breakfast it's like two ninety nine or like well two good breakfasts like for five dollars and it's eggs beans. Coffee. It's not like a typical breakfast, but it's very good. The hot dogs, too. Mm -hmm. All right, what about you, Boris? What is the food that you don't like? Well, in my case, a kind of seafood. You don't like seafood? Uh, uh, no, I don't like uh, like oysters. Oh, oysters. Oysters? Uh, uh huh. Um, well, uh, I don't know how to say it uh, because my wife like a lot, but I don't like it any. It's the you know, kind of uh, don't remember. It's uh, oyster, but uh, when uh, they put in a bottle, I don't know. In a bottle. Oh, oh no, no, in a bowl. 
in a boat. Oh, seashells, concha, seashells. Yeah, seashells. I don't um, like. I don't like cream. Cream? Cream, crema. I don't like that. Oh, cream, cream. Okay. But really, I mean, it's not, I don't like it. I hate it. I, I, I can't smell it. I don't know why. And, but it's, it's very strange because it's very, very strange because my, my brother, he does, my brother and my cousins don't like cream. But, but I'm not like, oh, I don't like it. No, if I, if I taste cream, I vomit. If I smell okay. it, I vomit. I throw up. It's horrible. I hate it. I don't know why. But so that... what about? Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. What What about the the other the dairy products? Only I cheese, mean... queso duro. Like if it's solid, I can eat it. But like yogurt, crema, I... no man. I... Really? No. That's way. Yes. And I have problems with that because like when I go to a comedor, I say, mm -hmm. yeah, can I have some breakfast? Yeah, okay. Uh, what can I get? So crema, please, cheese. Cheese. But but I, I make look at my face. Please, cheese. Don't put cream. No crema, please. <laughs> and, and they put cream. Like, oh, man. No, I said cheese. Ah, so la cambia. And then I don't need the plate because... I saw the cream in my plate. I was like, it's, it's I don't know. It's nah. Yeah. When, but when that's go... a typical, that's a typical food, you know, for breakfast, yeah. everyone eats when uh, I, when beans. I go to, yeah. with oh, yeah. cream, you know. When I go to, when I go to the beach and I ask for a mariscara and I said it's a natural, yes. Okay, I want one with no cream, please. No cream. And uh, hasta le digo a waiter, ya escribe ahí, sin crema, please, because everybody in my family puts cream. Y me cae mal that they serve it to me with cream y se quedan, ay, se me olvidó. <laughs> Una vez se enojaron conmigo, man, because it was, I think it was Olavetos or something, but but the mariscada was like 19 or $21. And I told them, <laughs> Uh, no cream, please. And then they put cream. And then I told him, look, I said, no cream. Even he said, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. And, you, you know, please don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not a liar. There's a reason I always make sure that I don't like cream. And he insisted that I didn't mention to him the cream. Poor waiter. He had to pay for that. Yes, you Maybe. know, that. that's what I imagined, but no, I, no, but but you were right. You were right. But I mean, uh huh. But I I didn't like his attitude because he he was he was telling me I was lying, and I know I was not lying because I do that everywhere I go. If I go to a comedor or something, and I know, like you said, when there's something typical and they put cream, please no cream, no cream, no cream, no cream, no cream, por favor. Vaya, no me pone crema, no, and I make him repeat it, you know. And so um, yeah, and then. And then I just told him, okay, look, I'm not I'm not going to eat this and I'm not going to pay for it. I'm sorry. You know, and, and he was, I don't know, but he was angry. So we're gonna that person, you know. Sure. I don't know. But sure. really, yes. The the dish that I don't like is mariscada. You you mentioned it before. Yeah, uh, and, and cocktails. I don't like it. Oh man. Um uh, and I can uh, pass to uh, the milk. In, in the coffee, I can't. Yeah, why do people do that to coffee, man? That's an insult to coffee. <laughs> I, I think that they they kill the coffee with that. Man. Yes, yes, they do. Listen to a funny story. A long time ago, I had an ex girlfriend, and she was very nice, you know. And on my birthday, she invited me to a special dinner. Uh, she lived alone. She lived in her apartment. And um, she says, look, come to my house and I will cook you a special dinner. And, okay, good. What do you like? And I said, oh, I like pastas. And um, okay, so she made me some very good food, very good food. And then she told me, wait, falta lo mejor, el postre. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, 
she took out and she she lit the candles. You know, it was a candlelight dinner. And she took out strawberries. Yes. And she made a dip, the yogurt, the yogurt with I don't know what. And when I smelled it, make it oh no. Oh my god, no. And then she didn't know that I don't like cream. And I couldn't ruin the moment. And when I saw the yogurt, oh my God, no, my stomach and so you know, I got I started to get sick. So she got the she got the strawberry and she dipped it in the yogurt and she was giving me to in my mouth. And I was out. Mmm, this is good. Oh my god, I wasn't breathing. I was on I remember I wasn't breathing and I was only swallowing like you know, and she continued giving me more. And I said, No, no, please. I, it's very good when I'm full. Oh my god. And then I said, Can I go to the bathroom? So I went to the bathroom and I threw up. Oh, the seat. I couldn't ruin the moment. You know. I told her like three months later. I told her, can I tell you something? Yes. I hate milk. <laughs> I hate cream. I hate yogurt. Please don't ever do that. <laughs> but it, it was it was nice. It was a good memory. It, it, it was a good intention. It was, a, you know, it, it was nice. All right. Okay. So let me, <clears throat> yesterday we were doing the mixed conditionals. Remember? I think you remember. Yeah. Yes. Let me share. Let me share. Okay, do you see the lady? Yes. Yes. All right. What does? Past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford This is what we did yesterday, now. remember? If you had made reservations, you wouldn't yeah. be able for a hotel now. Okay, so tell me, um, Claudia, Marcela, tell me what would have happened what should I have done with my ex-girlfriend on the date? Because she didn't know. She didn't know that I, I don't like yogurt. You. If you. If, if you should uh, have told her about uh, that you didn't like, what you don't like milk, uh, that wouldn't uh, I know. No, no. Sorry, sorry. That's if okay. She, if she had no known about, known about uh, your hate of how do you say it? Hate Dairy. of meat. Dairies. About what? Uh, dairies. Like dairies. Mm -hmm. Okay, dairies. About your hate of dairies. Uh, that would that would be uh, yeah, uh, you wouldn't throw up, throw up. All right, very good, yes. Can you repeat it? <laughs> no, that was very yeah. good. You were okay. improvising very good. Now repeat it. More fluency, okay. All right, uh, cool. If she had known about you hate of Derek, Mm -hmm. You wouldn't thrown up. You wouldn't have thrown up. You, you wouldn't have thrown up. Okay, good. Or you can say if she would have known that you hate dairy, she would have made something different. You are in mute. If she had done that you hate dairy, mm -hmm. uh, something different would be happened. 
She would have made. You, she would have made something, something different. different. Uh -huh. Something different. She Excellent. would have made. Okay. Yeah, good. All right, cool. Okay, so thank you, Claudia. That was very good. And and the rest are just examples, right? Sure. Yes. I think that it's important to have enough information when you had a date about the other person. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I, I think it's important to have essential information. Because it's really difficult, like in the first, second, third date, you really don't say very much about yourself. I mean, you say only the basic things. You don't say everything. Yes. You know. Uh -huh. I have a question about yeah. the structure of conditional meets okay. conditionals. I saw that when we say I would, doesn't have, oh. yeah, don't have, it's, what is the structure? About uh, if as the past participle, then a uh, subject plus would plus have plus verb in ID, right? Yes. So, for example, pueden ver mi cursor. No. Yeah. Okay. So here we use had. If she had the verb in past participle, if she had known. Correct? Yeah. If she had known, or if she would have known. That you don't like dairies. And there's the rest of the story. She would have made something different. She wouldn't have made strawberries with yogurt she would have maybe made chocolate it's would have plus past participle yes just past participle no ing uh-huh oh yeah oh got it they got it okay yeah and and yes, Boris, I think it's essential that you have to you have to say things about you know your date. For example, if you have children, imagine. <laughs> oh, I have three children. Oh <laughs> wow, okay. Bye. No. Yeah, that's true. I have heard many stories, man. I had I remember one friend. He was happy because he broke up with his girlfriend for a long time and he actually started dating again. And then he went, he called me, hey, yes, I'm going on a date. Look at her. Oh, she was very beautiful. And then they went out on a date and he came to my house that night after the date. And, and I told him, why are you here? Why are you not with your date? And he said, I don't think I will continue with her. Why? Because we were talking about our past. And uh, she told me I am her third boyfriend. I said, so that's not a problem. So, yes, but she has had two girlfriends. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see. So that girl had two girlfriends and three boyfriends. Yeah, so she Sad. was. Yeah, I mean, it's very strange. I mean, you know, I personally, I wouldn't. Because, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. I have a funny story from a friend uh -huh. and he dated with a girl. So he has two children. And... It's the same. He he got separated with his wife, and then he started dating. 
and there was a beautiful girl and she was very interested in, in on him uh -huh. and when he mentioned on a date that he got separated he had like eight months separated from his wife and he mentioned that to the girl it, it was like the third date and uh -huh. she just said when he mentioned she did she already know that he had a an, an ex-wife but when he mentioned that he has two children and he was living with one of them she just said i hope you get how do you say i hope you get back like you get back with your wife and you you make it better so for your for your children mm -hmm. so at the at the end the bad thing for her was the the children so it doesn't happen only with i think that it happened it 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 it's more important for for women than men because you know a man can date with with a girl that has one two or three ch children and mm. also i have seen cases that they get married with with a with a with a girl that has children but for women that doesn't have children it's more important something that the man the man doesn't have children also yeah in my case i would never marry a, i would have never dated a girl that has children me too well actually just once but after that after that girl i never date with so for me that was a rule never date with a with a girl that has children because yeah. it, mm -hmm. it's complicated it depends on you and what you want because if you only want to have a, a good time with that girl okay it doesn't matter but if you want to get compromised or go uh, longer with that girl i think that you're going to start thinking what's going to happen with the boy or... yeah no I, you know i think from experience it's not that oh she has a baby no it's that that girl will have contact with the baby's father for life and oh. sometimes the baby's father is he's like a psycho or he's a toxic you know so um i had a friend that he had a very nice girlfriend she was very nice and he had a the girl she had a, a boy beautiful boy and my friend really liked the boy but then the father of the boy was he wanted to interfere a lot in the relation not with her with him with the boy and him so he said don't touch my son why you know like stay away from my son you know like my friend he said hey boy you want to go with me why are you offering my son to go to the stadium that's my job so you know I, you know so my friend just said you know what i can't Because I can't ignore the, the little kid, you know, if I have children with Monica, okay, the other kid will be my son too, but, you know, I can't. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, that's why it's complicated. So don't complicate yourself. It depends on your intentions. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... um. Okay, so we have body. Okay, so let's see the next here. So we have knowledge check. Instructions complete these sentences with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Just the verb in its correct form. No capital letter or period is needed. Can you do number one? Dennis. Okay, let me see. If I would have been more adventurous when I was younger, mm -hmm. so I will have been would read be in the box. Well, read the read the example and then. Oh, you want me to complete the, the sentence? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I would have been more adventurous 
when I was younger. Um, so, no, for example, it says, if I blank more adventures when I was younger. So, uh, what do you think is the correct? Would have been. No, let me see. If I would have been, would have been. Here, let's see. Because it could have been, I think it's if I had had, uh, if I had oh, been. just have been. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's true because it's adventurous. I was reading adventures. I'm sorry. So, yes, if I had been more adventurous when I was younger. You know, if I had been more adventurous when I was younger, I wouldn't be in so much trouble today. Do you know, Claudia, that's why men are very immature? Claudia Marcela, do you know that us men are very immature? What do you mean with that? Immature? Immature. Immature. Okay, so listen, I am 45, and um, the majority of my friends, they hate their wife. Oh, they're always talking like, oh, shit, my boys, oh, I can't, you know. And then they start saying marriage is bad, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't. I love my wife. I, I, I am very happy. And the reason why is the majority of my friends got married between 20 and 25, so they were not adventurous. <laughs> and um, I was very, very extremely adventurous when I was young. So I did everything I needed to do. So when I got married, I don't, I don't need to do anything now. So my friends, that's why when they separate from their wife, they start pretending they are children again. And it's funny, that's why when you go to a bar or a discotheque and you see an old man, like, oh, please. <laughs> so that person never had a, a youth. <laughs> yes or no, Boris? Didn't, yeah, didn't uh, enjoy the, the younger, I don't know. <laughs> yes, they didn't enjoy anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... That's why when my when I hear my friends like, oh, man, oh God, don't get married, you know, oh, this is terrible, they, and they're so depressed. It's sad. That's why my mother always told me it's always listen. It's always good to listen to advice, but it's more important to know who is giving you the advice. You know, so. Okay, so in this case, can you finish the sentences, Dennis? If I have been? If I have been more adventure when I was younger, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have too many regrets mm -hmm. now. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, uh, number two, Claudia Marcella, can you can you do number two, please? I wouldn't have any regrets about the thing I missed. I wouldn't have any regrets about the things I missed. I missed. Yeah. So then this is the continuation of number one. <laughs> Like in my case, I don't have any regrets now. I mean, I did everything. <laughs> I did everything. And I am, have you heard the song of My Way from Frank Sinatra? I'm sorry? Have you ever heard the song My Way from Frank Sinatra? No. <laughs> Listen, it's, uh, you never heard I did it my way. Regrets, I had a few, but then again, too few to mention. 
Wasabi a, kid? Yeah. I mean, Manera. Wow, they even say it in Spanish. But it's a very cool song because it's like, well, you, it's a good karaoke song. I did it my way. <laughs> okay, number three, Boris. The airline lost my luggage. Uh, if I had brought uh, a change of clothes in my carry-on bag. Okay, good. Do you know what is a carry-on bag? Okay, no. <laughs> um, you know what luggage is, correct? Yeah. But a carry-on bag is the bag that you have in your hand that you carry with you. Ah, okay. With with the hand. Yeah. Yeah, carry-on bag. Mm -hmm. In the airport, some. Pero para eso, man. <laughs> you know, like, ¿cuánto es? Creo 25 pounds. Solo 25 libras. Puede llevar uno to carry on bags. Y, y si uno excede una libra, le quieren cobrar 40 dólares. What? <laughs> so you see people there going crazy. Ah, pues no. And they start putting on the sweater, the shirts, and everything. <laughs> Quitándole peso al. I had a... Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I had an ex-girlfriend that she worked in um in the uh, in the airport. Mm -hmm. And she worked in ticket in traffic. As you say, I'm a traffic, I think. And she tells me, you wouldn't believe everything we see there. Like, for example, she told me that one time uh there was a it's at this viejita del campo, you know, like first time going to the United States, it all. And they opened her bags and she had live chickens. What? Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> alive. Says, alive. Uh huh. And uy, 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 uy. no eran gallinas, you know, you can't, son indias, pero que, but you know, I mean, this woman was very from a campo, you know, you weren't gonna. You no puede llevar esto. Ve, por qué? You know, I'm sorry, you can't. And it was very difficult to explain to her the laws because maybe she didn't understand. So, um, and then she was refusing. You know, and, uh, and so, look, you're going to pay more than $1,000, you know, just. Deje solo aquí alguien y no, no solo quería dejar a nadie. Las gallinas. <laughs> sure, I will remember an, a kind of um, aid. Uh, an anuncio, como, I, I don't know how to say anuncio. Ad, commercial, ad, a, a TV commercial. A TV commercial that I remember that uh, from Pollo Campero that the the guard I I looking for the pollo campero and say, hey, you you, you came from El Salvador. And they look for the, the pollo campero in the baggage. <laughs> you remember that? Uh no, but it makes sense because you know if you if you come from El Salvador, you have to have pollo campero. Do you know that the the that is the, the pollo campero that sells the most in El Salvador is the one in the airport? Yeah, it's a bit restaurant uh, at the top of the yeah. The I think yeah, they sell like a million pieces a month or something. Or, or I'm sorry, I don't know if a month or a year, but they sell a lot. All right, so Boris. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, you just did one. Hey, what happened? Who else is here? I only see Dennis, Claudia, and Boris. Okay, let's do Claudia. Let's do number four. I wouldn't be shopping for new clothes now. Clothes now. Okay, good. Clothes. Clothes now. Okay. So, listen, I'm going to read it because it's a whole story anyway. So, 
So number one, it says, if I had been more adventurous when I was younger, I wouldn't have any regrets about things I missed. The airline lost my luggage. If I had brought, I'm sorry, if I had brought a change of clothes in my carry-on bag, I wouldn't be shopping for new clothes now. This flight is so long. If I had bought an economy class ticket, if I hadn't bought an economy class ticket, I would be more comfortable now. If you had learned to speak more Mandarin before moving to Taipei, you would be able to ask someone for directions now. If Martha hadn't become a flight attendant, she probably wouldn't travel as much as she does. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's listen to Cindy. Listen to Cindy and Scott talking about their travel problems. Check the statements if you think they are probably true or false. Okay, let me see. One, Cindy. You'll probably be surprised to hear what I did. I was on a business trip. The flight was a long one, and when I arrived at my destination, I was eager to get my bags and get to my hotel to relax. Well, you know, they always tell you to be careful to get the right bag, but I was in a hurry. You can guess what happened. My black suitcase looked just like every other one, so I picked up someone else's. I didn't realize my mistake until I got to the hotel. Well, I immediately called the airport, and fortunately, it all worked out. I had to go back to the airport, though, to pick up my suitcase and return the other one. And, of course... I also had to apologize. If only I'd checked the name tag more carefully. It's funny. This sort of thing almost never happens to me when I travel. Two, Scott. This is kind of a funny story. I was in Panama City and had a layover between flights. I'd arrived at about 6 p.m. and my flight out wasn't until about 8.30. Well, my flight was delayed. And delayed. It got really crowded at the departure gate. I was getting tired, and there were so many people around. I hate crowds. So I went to sit away from the departure gate to escape the crowds. I was reading my newspaper and feeling drowsy. I wish I'd slept on the flight to Panama. Anyway, the next thing I know, I wake up, and there's no one around. The crowd is gone. I'd fallen asleep and missed my flight. They must have made lots of announcements, and I missed them all. Boy, did I feel stupid. I had to stay in Panama City overnight and catch a flight out the next morning. Okay, so Cindy has a unique, easy-to-see name tag on her luggage. True or false? False. Probably false. false. Yeah, probably false. Cindy travels frequently. True. 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 <clears throat> Scott likes peace and quiet when he travels. Probably true. true. Scott slept soundly all the way to Panama City. False. Probably false. Oh, we finished. One or two? One word or two? Okay, let's listen to this. Hi, let's make compound adjectives together. Ready? 
Look at the following chart. Remember, some adverbs can be combined with adjectives to make compound adjectives. Culturally aware, culturally sensitive, non-conforming, non-judgmental, open-hearted, open-minded, self-assured, self-motivated, self-reliant, self-starter. Type on our discussion box some sentences about travel using the words we just came up with. Follow my example. Self-reliant, self-starter. Type on our discussion. Type on our Okay, first, do you understand culturally aware? It's like uh, to know or, yeah, to have an idea what's the culture about where you are going to be. Yes. So it's to realize about that. I'll give an example. Let's see. Um, Claudia, Marcela, do you smoke or drink? No, I don't small need and not drink okay good for you do you do you use do you sometimes wear mini skirts i'm sorry for the question i will explain why skirts faldas cortas ah yeah 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 okay the reason why i'm asking you is because imagine you go to the middle east you go to iraq or iran and you are wearing a mini skirt and then you see men starting to scream at you and women, you are. And then you're saying, man, you're stupid. I can wear what I want. Do you think it's your fault or their fault? Well, I need to know. Um, I need to be aware about that culture. Exactly. I need to be careful about that. You need to be culturally aware. Culturally aware. Just be careful with that. Yes. You know, I mean, maybe you are right, but you have to respect because you are in a country that doesn't, that sees that bad. So in this case, Claudia, it's your fault because you were not culturally aware. You should not wear skirts in Iraq. Unfortunately, even if you say, but I, I'm a woman. Yes, I understand perfectly, but they don't. And you are in their country, in their home, in their house, their rules. That's why I'm never going to be in that country. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is, is sad. Teacher, I, I had a question. Yeah. Yes, Boris. Culturally aware is, is different than culture choke. Yeah, because culture shock is when you discover something like, wow, really, I didn't know this. Like like when people go to Amsterdam, that I think everything is legal. You can smoke marijuana. I think you can do all the drugs you can, and, and there's no problem. And that's a culture shock. Like, e wow. Yes. Okay, thank you. But culturally aware is that you know where you're going. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, um, uh, people that come to El Sal uh, gringos or, or Europeans that come to El Salvador, they need to be culturally aware that you can be 30 or 40 years old and still live with your mother and father. You know, and that's, it's not a problem. It's, it's you know, you're happy like that. I'm giving them, yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, teacher, do you remember the, the name of the the actor of the, the Furious, Fast and Furious? Uh, yes, Paul Walker. Walker. Paul Walker. Paul Walker came to El Salvador, right? I remember that something uh, was uh, writing at the newspaper that he was on the beach with a, a little girl. Uh, I don't know. 
uh, he was to how to say the nudo <laughs> he was naked he, he was naked with hair um some people called the police and he had to uh, abandon the country immediately really paul walker i i, I didn't hear that story yes he he had to oh Oh, because he going going to uh, confront the the love out here. That I, I remember that say that the the girl was a uh, uh, younger. I don't know. And where did you see that in the news or or a police report? I remember that I read that in the news, but in the international news. Oh, maybe I I don't know. Maybe it's true, but I don't think so because. They said that he was here for many days and they discovered him in Alunada. Some people saw him, they recognized him. And then when they started recognizing him, like the next day, the Dunco was full of people and he just left. Because when they discovered him, they took pictures of him like drinking a Blitzenet or something. But I heard that he, he would frequently come. I don't know, but maybe something happened. Maybe he did have a girlfriend here. Yes, I remember that I read it in the news of internet. Oh, yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers came too to El Salvador. Yes, Steven Tyler too. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's culturally aware, correct? Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's why a country I would never like to visit is India. I don't know, man. I would never like to visit that country. <laughs> and one time I was very, very close to visiting India. Why? Because I was working. Were invited? No, I was working in Dell. Remember Dell in El Salvador del Mundo? Yes. But this was like 15 years ago. And then um, they were going to open another site in India. So then they were, se llamaba Exportando Talento. So then they were going to send talent from El Salvador to India to train. Oh. And oh, they okay. they told me, hey, you want to go for six months? And I said, oh, what was that? the money was good. You know, it was a good experience. And yeah, and I did. I, you know, and they gave me the paper. I went to the embassies and todo esto. And then the, and Dell closed. So you, you know, teacher, that the, uh, Francisco Flores' daughter uh, got married in that country. Oh, she did, yes. And they, there was a picture of Francisco Flores in the back. Yes. Did you see it? He was like, yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Do you think he's dead? Really? No. I think it's too suspicious. I think maybe United States has him with um como se llama? Como es okay. Asilo, well, protección de testigo. Protección de testigo, yeah, they have him or something. <laughs> A witness protection. <laughs> okay. Oh, but I love Francisco Flores. He was remember, did you watch on TV when they interviewed him? When Gallegos and then like three diputados were interviewing where is the money man for two hours they interviewed him you know that's like i don't know also francisco flores was a very very smart man he he used like reverse psychology so i remember gallego said no oh, ya basta diga la verdad usted ladrón <laughs> and he was de que habla que se refiere <laughs> you know, and was... asking where is the 10 million dollar and he said I remember that what more than eighty four million dollars. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was a good. I mean, he was a very smart man. I don't know if he was a good person or a good press, you know. But he was a very, very smart man. Actually, his biography says that he studied at Harvard. 
he, it, and with honors, se graduó con honores, right? Like, yeah, he was. Yeah. He wasn't stupid. He was. He was a very intelligent man. And then we had Nuega, though. Oh, <laughs> you know, my, sometimes my family they don't believe me, like of all the stupid things he did. Me dicen, vos sos mentiro. No, tía, de verdad, él dijo eso. Remember when he, cuando le pidió a la gente inválida que se le pusieran de pie para, <laughs> le voy a pedir que se pongan de pie. Y, <laughs> como que si alguien le dijo, esto en silla de ruedas. O... <laughs> when he mentioned the kilovatios. <laughs> no, o, o, no, el, la beatificación de Monseñor Romero, que el Monseñor Ramírez Hernández, Ah, uh, era, era el lema de su partido. He forgot the name of. I don't know. He was, I don't, he was, he was funny, man. I like politics. It's, 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 it's a show. It's a TV show. Like right now, right now, politics in this moment is funny. Yeah. So somebody has to be culturally aware of. Well, you know, if you recommend somebody, hey, how is El Salvador? Just to be culturally aware, you say, oh, you know, Salvador is a third world country with a modern world uh, mentality. No? Okay, next we have culturally sensitive. If you are cultural, uh, culturally sensitive, I do not recommend you to visit countries that you don't like. For example, me, I think I am culturally sensitive. That's why I don't think I would never visit Africa and see the children dying. Oh, man. Ustedes vieron una foto que ganó el premio Pulitzer. De que había, ¿cómo se llaman los pájaros que comen a, a los muertos? Un cuervo, ya, yeah. I cuervo. saw that picture. Oh my God, man. Did you see that picture, Boris? The crow? There was a little African kid. He was so in such a bad condition that he was dying. And there's a cuervo, a crow, right next to him, como esperándolo morirse, like, I'm going to eat you now. Oh. And it yeah, it's was very controversial. I, I think that, that I read something about that because uh, many people start uh, talking about that picture and about the this photographer. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that or stuff like that? But but at the end, uh, I think that he mentioned or other people start defending him that nobody knows what happened after the yeah. photographer and you know, took that and, picture. And maybe the crow was just like, I think it was a perfect moment. But I don't think I don't think the photographer was his intention. You know, I think it's like that picture is your conclusion. That photography, that photograph. You know, he just saw the perfect moment, like, wow, this is a good photograph. Boom. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, I I like to take photographs. I love photography, and um, and that's one beautiful thing about photography is that you you it's it's your conclusion. Have you seen this photo? Watch. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Look at this photo. And this is a true photo. I I saw a, a new that uh, act in how do you say well a few a few days or a few, few years ago contempora contemporary there mm -hmm. is a, another picture that is contemporary uh, that have have made the same i think do you see that not that new no i mean 
volvieron a replicar esta, esta, oh, esta, esta escena. But do you know the story of this picture? Mm. Let me see if I can remember. But I, I know there is story about that picture. Yeah, they, look, están en el piso 70, 70th floor. And so they are that, taking their lunch, right? Yeah, so then uh, the there were some reporters making a, a report on the building. And, you know, they were like, oh, yeah. And so they were explaining, so look, we're going to put a bathroom here and this. And then the photographer said, what the hell are they doing? Oh, they're eating lunch. <laughs> what? That's where they eat lunch? Yes. So he took the picture. Look at that. You know, one time I went to a, a un premium. You know, the premium stores? And they had this poster. Lo tenían, but in big, a very big poster. And they, I remember it was like $23. And with a discount, it was like $14. And I only had, is- I only had like $10. And uh, and so I was going to pay with a credit card, and then the 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 voucher didn't work. Their their voucher, you know, mm-hmm. oh man! And um, I told the lady, "Mire, tengo que ir mañana." It was like six in the afternoon, so I couldn't go back home. And... Quiere que me lo guarden para mañana? Sí, na- ahí está bastante <laughs> tiempo. Nadie lo compra. So I went the very next day. And the lady tells me, ah, fíjese que cuando se fue, alguien lo vio, alguien me estaba viendo que yo lo quería. O sea, me dice, yo creo que ni se había subido al carro y lo compró. And the lady was ah. laughing, like, <laughs> yo, en serio, en la causa gracia. <laughs> o sea, the, the lady didn't think, ah, she didn't <laughs> think it was a big deal. And I, and I was very specific. I told her, please, creo que me lo guardan. No puedo regresar a mi casa y... y no, no se preocupe, igual ha estado mucho tiempo y nadie lo compró. And the next day, fíjese que lo compraron. <laughs> Stupid lady. <laughs> <laughs> but I want that picture. It's a photograph. It's a photograph. It's not a picture. Do you know the difference? No. Okay, photograph is physical. Picture no. is Imagen. Image. Hmm? Yeah, picture is the image. That's why people say, okay, picture this. You and me in the beach in sunset. Oh, okay. image. You never heard that expression? A picture you and me dancing salsa in blah, blah, blah. Picture you. No. Picture yourself drinking wine in the top of the Nuseke building. This picture because it's an image that you have in your head. Oh. And fo- fo- photograph is actually the physical part. Pero hay gente que le va a decir, oh, look at that picture. Yeah, it's nice, pero no, it's actually a photograph. Okay. Yeah. Y la razón por qué lo confunden es porque antes la idea de una fotografía era que la gente entendiera lo que esta persona tenía en su mente, la imagen. Transmitir esa imagen a una fotografía. <coughs> yeah. Ok. okay. All right, class. Yo me surrar así, sí, con solo ver abajo. <laughs> Imagine mm-hmm. these people like... Yeah, you know, that's can't... crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. Okay, class, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful day. Thank night. you. Good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.